of what to do about this threat, which you described uh, well, uh, in the sense of how to organize for it. This has been a big uh, issue that, that you've been thinking about now for many months. The president um, in, in June uh, at a, a speech at a space forum uh, said that he had wanted to create a space force, he said, that would be separate uh, but equal to the Air Force. The, the Pentagon, as I understand it, is studying this mm -hmm. and it will complete a fe feasibility study uh, next month, first of two. But uh, uh, tell us, uh, uh, if, if, you, if you can, about, um, about that process of studying this idea. Uh, I think one thing we worry about is uh, the possible bureaucratic and other costs that could delay response to this very serious and, and immediate real-time mm. challenge. Um, so how, how do we, uh, how should we think about how to organize for this? One of the things, uh, to put this in context, when I was going through the process of confirmation, my opening statement had to be approved by the, by the then, you know, I was the only the second one approved in the, in the Defense Department, so I had to go around the interagency and the, most of the people were people who were here from before. And they actually took out the sentence in my statement that referred to space as a war fighting domain. Mm. So that was a little more than a year ago. Couldn't even say space and war fighting in the same sentence. We now have the president, the vice president, the reestablishment of a national space council. We have a national space strategy, a national defense strategy that both recognize those. And people, and, and this, this year's president's budget, the fiscal year 19 budget, increased and accelerated defendable space with $7 billion in addition to the, to the base budget and reprogrammed another $5 billion within the budget to accelerate defendable space. So this is, this is I am, both the chief of staff and I are actually very glad that this is now becoming, people are becoming more aware um, and having a debate about what do we do about this as a nation. And that just wasn't really there before. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think it's tremendously helpful as we advance what we're trying to do to defend our assets on orbit. For me, one of the biggest issues is how do we accelerate acquisition? How do we move the Pentagon forward quickly? Um, uh, because there's, you know, there's a huge bureaucracy around acquisition and we're doing a number of things to be able, not just in space, but more generally, to accelerate acquisition. I want, to, I want to come back to acquisition in a moment because that's been a key uh, area that you've focused on and, and one where you've tried to innovate. But just before we leave this uh, question of, of the um, uh, president's desire to do more in space, if I hear you, you're saying we, we couldn't agree more. Mm -hmm. Uh, the question is how best to organize for that. And are there any uh, thoughts you, you offer us about the, the, the transition and transitional issues? I, you know, I've studied uh, enough military history to see that when, you know, when we make these transitions, they can sometimes be pretty bumpy. Mm. Um, you know, when, when the uh, Air Force was initially created out of the Army Air Corps, that was Brilliant not Brilliant idea, by the way. Well, I mean, <laughs> the... <laughs> The, uh, the Marine Corps goes way back in our history, so it's, it's not as, as, as relevant uh, a, a, an idea. But when um, missiles first came in, there was a terrible food fight between the Army and the Air Force about who should run, run the, the missile program to the point that the uh, Army missile commander, I think, uh, locked out the Air Force general, wouldn't let him come into his base. So uh, the you know there's a, there's a history here. Well, as as you look at, at this, what would be your sort of um, cautionary points about the things that could end up hurting us if we're not careful as we make the transition? I think the most important thing is to stay focused on the warfighter and maintaining the lethality of the service. No matter no matter how the org chart boxes go, um, it's all about the ability to to uh, to fight. And if we, if we keep focused on that and not on, you know, which boxes move around, which place in the Pentagon, then we'll do the right thing for the nation. So focus on the lethality of the force. Um, and, uh, and so I think that that's, to me, that's the, the most important thing. And, and if that's primary, that will dr then drive the decisions in a sensible way. I believe it will.